What's up everyone, this is Lester. Today we'll be doing Until Dawn. And this is the first time I'm playing this. So I have no idea what is coming up. Okay, the butterfly effect, I knew it. I mean, I know what it means. So my action will affect the future that means I can't teabag anybody just for the sake of teabagging choose your actions carefully well I think I want to teabag somebody if I can Okay, snowing Um Apparently there's a killer outside Okay, so now I can control um, Josh is sleeping. Move the controller to look around. Okay. Yeah, I chose the motion control type. R2, press and hold R2 to pick up the water. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. Okay, he drunk. Rotate the controller. To inspect the note. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I've got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know making out and see where it goes from there. Oh my hell yeah. Oh my god. She's taking 
your shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all gonna happen. Just a stupid prank. Uh, oh, man, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Okay, that was not funny. Point the controller. Big Josh. I mean, he's drunk, but let's try. Fuck. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, shit! Oh, quick time events. Safe. Yeah, I don't want to die out here. Um, what? Uh, I'm, I want to follow the footprints. No, it could just be an animal. Oh, okay, it's an animal. The touch pad has shown by strike. Hannah. Okay, so now I move the controller around, and and I can control the lights. Mm, no. No disco lights. Oh, okay. It's a wild animal. I want to walk faster. Hello? Hello? Who run? R2 and then get down a bit what? Death totem. What the hell was that? And why is there uh, like fire? Anna. Anna. Hello? Anna. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Yeah, you are. Okay, something's coming. Something's coming.
you ran to the wrong direction. No. No. Shit. No. Get no. No. Yeah, hold hands, it will go away. Okay, the fire thing is coming. Hold on. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm trying to grab us. No, no, no. I won't, I won't drop you. Let go. Oh. I think I broke my back. I think it's safe to say we are both dead. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Yeah, I know that, Doctor. He, he was explained. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay, pick up the card. Tell you what I feel about it. Okay. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Makes me happy, makes me uneasy. Yeah, I'm gonna mix it, mix with. I'm gonna go with makes me happy. Oh, that's good. Because it looks peaceful. In what way did it make you happy? Alright, yeah, 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 it looks peaceful. Oh. Interesting. That's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here? All by yourself. No, you would not. And why is that? And why is that? I'll be lonely, yes. So I waste a whole session just looking at pictures and tell you how I feel about it. What kind of scam are you? Oh, 
Um, okay, that seems like the prologue. So we have two dead girls, and apparently someone or something splitting fire, trying to grab us. And a bunch of teenagers who thought they are funny by playing a prank. Not cool, man. Your prank just cost two life. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> I don't understand him. I mean, this bunch of people just cost him two sisters. And he's so happy about meeting them again. If if it was me, I would like not want to see them again, and also not invite them all back to the same place where they did the horrible deed. But apparently, this Josh. Either he's kind of crazy or he's he is like forgiving. Either way, this does not make sense to me. 